What does it mean for someone to die? When certain parts of the body, such as the heart, lungs, kidney and so on, stop working, then a person dies. When people die, they will not be able to do what living people do, such as breathing, eating, playing, walking, seeing, hearing and so on. They cannot even feel pains no matter how hard they are beaten. There are lots of things that can cause the death of people, some of which are illnesses, accidents or even old age. Jesus didn't die as a result of these. He chose to die for us. Have you heard of anyone who chose to die for the sake of others? Such sacrificial deaths are rare. More importantly, what made Jesus' death special is that He resurrected. That is, He died and rose again on the third day. This has never happened in the history of the human race. In the New Testament, the books of Matthew, Mark, Luke and John recorded the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. Jesus was born mainly to take away our sins by dying on the cross. When the time for Jesus to die for the sins of the world was near, He told His disciples that He would die on the oh. cross and on the third day He will rise again. Before He died, His followers kept increasing and this made the Jewish leaders to be afraid of what this might cost them. So they decided to kill Jesus. This they did with the help of one of Jesus' disciples, Judas Iscariot. They arrested Jesus and accused him of claiming Ooh. to be the king of the Jews. According to the Roman law, the punishment for saying such a thing was to die by crucifixion, which is death on a cross. They took him to the Roman governor for his final judgment. The Roman governor, Pontius Pilate, did not want to kill Jesus because he didn't find anything wrong that Jesus had done. But the people wanted Jesus dead so badly that Pilate decided to please them by granting them what they wanted, which was the crucifixion of Jesus. Pilate then washed his hands in front of the people to signify that he had no hand in the bloodshed of Jesus before handing him over to the people. The soldiers beat him without pity and put a crown of thorns on his head, which made Jesus to bleed. He was then made to carry the cross with which he would be crucified. As they moved, Jesus became very tired from carrying the cross for so long. A man, Simon of Cyrene, was asked to help him carry the cross. When they came to a place called Golgotha, which means the place of the skull, they nailed his hands and his feet to the cross. They hung the cross up and put a sign above his head that said, Jesus of Nazareth, King of the Jews. A crowd of people had gathered to watch. They insulted him as they watched and passed by. Some said he should save himself if he claimed to be the Son of God, while some others sympathized with him. Two criminals were nailed alongside Jesus, one on his left, the other on his right. While one of the criminals mocked him, the other scolded the mocker and asked Jesus to remember him in paradise. Jesus responded, Truly I tell you, today you will be with me in paradise. After then, Jesus cried with a loud voice saying, Elohi, Elohi, lama sabachthani, which means, My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? Some of the people passing by heard this and said, Look, this man is calling Elijah. Then Jesus looked up to heaven and asked God to forgive them, for they do not know what they do. Then, as he took his last breath, he said, Father, into your hands I commit my spirit. It is finished, and died. You know what? Some things happened as Jesus hung on the cross. First, the sky was completely dark for three hours. Then, immediately he died, the ground shook so hard that the thick curtain in the temple split from top to bottom. And even the graves of some good people who had died opened and their bodies came back to life. Here are some lessons we can learn from the death of Jesus on the cross. Jesus died because he loved mankind. 
all God's children must always do things from the place of love by sacrificing our time, food, toys, and so on to help other people in need. Jesus Christ forgave the soldiers and Jews that killed him. We must also forgive people when they hurt us. Jesus Christ was humble even when he was being accused of crimes he did not commit. We must learn to be humble and polite even when we face accusations from people. Well, the love story of Jesus Christ did not end on the cross. He died, was buried, and rose again on the third day. We shall go into details of his resurrection in part two of this lesson. Let us answer a few questions to see if we remember what we have learned. Question one, which books of the Bible recorded the death of Jesus Christ? A. Matthew, Mark, Peter and Paul B. Mark, Luke, Isaiah and John or C. Matthew, Mark, Luke and John The correct answer is option C. The books of Matthew, Mark, Luke and John recorded the death of Jesus Christ. Question 2. Who helped Jesus carry his cross? A. Pontius Pilate B. Simon of Cyrene or C. Judas Iscariot The correct answer is option B. Simon of Cyrene helped Jesus carry his cross. From today's lesson, we can understand and narrate Jesus' sacrificial death and resurrection story. We can identify two or three benefits of Christ's death and resurrection. We can also identify ways to sacrificially serve at home, school, church, and the community. In summary, Jesus died and resurrected from death on the third day. He is the only one who has died and resurrected. The death of Jesus Christ on the cross was all part of God's plan from the very beginning to save mankind. Jesus died a sacrificial death because he loved mankind. Jesus Christ forgave those who killed him. We must also forgive people when they hurt us. That's all for now. See you next time. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, drop a comment, and subscribe to our channel. You can also turn on notifications to stay updated on new videos on this channel. This Brain Friend video was brought to you by Sinforest. For more of these amazing e-learning videos, get your copy of Brain Friend. With more than a thousand e-learning videos, over 74,000 test items in more than 40 subjects, a career counseling guide, and many other amazing features, BrainFriend remains your foremost e-learning and exam preparatory software. BrainFriend. Learn better. Make excellent grades.